Hello, this is Eric, back with another Eric Hepperly Designs tutorial. Today we're going to do uh, something that's not about WordPress. We're going to talk about the Wayback Machine. Now, what is the Wayback Machine? This is also called archive.org. This is a website that is specifically um, exists to try to archive everything. This is the Internet Archive, which is another name for it, is a nonprofit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. Now we know um, as people change and businesses uh, go in and out of popularity, websites seem to disappear. For instance, if you go on Wikipedia, um, uh, occasionally you'll run into some links that no longer work or your own blog links that no longer work well, well one way to better ensure that the links are available for posterity you know to, for people that are trying to, to uh, visit them down the road is to back them up with the Wayback Machine I'm going to show you how to do that today first point your browser to archive.org then find a website that you want to back up. So for me, I've recently uh, done some coding to add RSS feeds from multiple websites. In other words, I, I've uh, made a custom RSS aggregator and I would like to store what my website looks like today in case that RSS code no longer works in the future or something. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy the link right here in your browser bar and then go to Internet Archive. And now there's a bunch of different search things, right? So if I punch it in here, you might think that that would be the way to sa save it. Maybe a search archived websites, right? And go here. That will work. That will find it for me, but that won't archive it. So to get back, I'm going to click on this Wayback Machine uh, icon. And then right down here where it says Save Page Now, that's where I want to put it. I'm going to show you how to get to that normally. Just right at the top here. Go ahead and click on that. And then paste it in your website. Click Save. Every so often a website won't be able to save but uh, this isn't one of them. And what you can see is it says saving page now. So now you've got a couple options. You can uh, save anonymously or you can sign in. Um, it's a free account. So I'll go back to the Wayback Machine and I'll enter the save URL. In other words, I'll enter the URL that I had copied, the ericheperly.com. Okay, and now you'll notice if I go to archive.org, it stores a cookie. Log in. At least it should store a cookie. If I go there, I can see my web archive, which will show me the things that I put in there. All right, so let's try uploads. Mm -hmm. Web archives. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well maybe that's not the way it, it works. Maybe you have to actually Click Save and Share. 
what's save out links? I'm not sure what that is. Save also in my web archive. Save page. Oh my goodness. I think what it's doing it is it's going through and it's finding all my uh, links to other websites and it's saving those as well. Holy moly. Look at that. And I will pause till that's done. Okay, that took less than a minute to finish, which is very fast. Now you see it says a snapshot was captured. Visit page. So if I click and open a tab, we should have come on all right let's see if that's accurate there's my page yep that duck was in there so cool alrighty Now, if I click out of there, you can see I'm still on Web Archive, and I should be able to navigate to my blog through Web Archive. Let's, let's do the let's do the jQuery uh, post. We'll see. Let's see. Web Archive crawled my entire website because I just told it to and grabbed everything on the website. Hey, Amen. By the way, this is November 1st. Very cool. So, as far as that goes, it looks like it's working. Now, if we go back, you can see that I've been using web uh, archive for many years you can see a little bit about what my website used to look like in the next video is just a tour of ericheperly.com through the web archive thank you and have a great day